So a few months ago, Skybound asked me to work on a Murder Falcon short story for their Skybound X series, which is celebrating 10 years of them publishing comics. I of course said yes. I love Murder Falcon. It's the thing that I'm most proud of in my entire career so far. And the opportunity to revisit those characters again gets me really excited. And I figured since the project is so small scale, with it just being eight pages, I could invite people to kind of see how my process works from start to finish. And uh, that's what this is. So we're starting with episode one of uh, this Murder Falcon short story called The Idea. So first part of the process for me and I'm assuming everybody else uh, when making comics or a comic story is the idea. Uh, I kind of have things a little easier because the characters are made, the uh, setting is more or less, and the tone is all set up. A um, few things when like kind of thinking about this story, I knew that I, I didn't want it to be too huge scale. I wanted to have the main characters only. So not even the whole band, just maybe Jake and Murder Falcon and possibly Johan as well. Um, I just didn't want to go too crazy. So I have these kind of parameters and one thing that I do when I do have an idea is I try and give myself a sandbox to work in. Otherwise, I just end up thinking and thinking and thinking and I never put any thoughts onto the page or the paper, so to speak. So I was flipping through uh, the Murder Falcon trade paperback and I was uh, remembering that I really wanted to have uh, in the series, in this eight issue miniseries, a scene where uh, Jimmy, the drummer, actually gets a hold of her own drums. I really wanted it to take, to take place in like a guitar center or something with like a really sad guitar center employee or, you know, like a music store employee that's like so sick of hearing the same riffs over and over. I'm just spitballing here. And, um, I didn't have room, uh, there was no room. I, I tried to put that scene in and it was just taking away from the emotional beats of the characters in issue three, specifically of Murder Falcon. And then there, what I had to do is I basically had to do a throwaway line where Johan goes to the drummer of the band, Jimmy, uh, where Jimmy says like, yo, where'd you get this drum kit? This is amazing when they reveal it to her. And Johan just goes, uh, oh, we got it somewhere. There were goblins and uh, that's literally I had to do like a one line explanation of how they got it and it was like play it off as a joke. I've always wanted to kind of tell that story, so that's my idea. Uh, telling the story of Johan and Jake and Murder Falcon and turn that into a little story of how they get this drum set. So let's just um, see what happens. Let's just try and write some ideas down. Okay, so here we go. We have a blank document. This is literally the worst product of every project, so. Issue 01, I'm gonna write my name. And then I'm gonna bold it. Yes, and I'm gonna unbold. Okay. So, I hate writing. I'm terrible at it. Uh, but one way to start, I just start putting page numbers down. Right. Now, obviously, this is only eight pages. If it was 22 pages, I'd do 22 pages. Uh, and that's literally what I'll do just to uh, try and get away from having to do anything. Now usually I would um, come up with some sort of paragraph describing what happens, uh, but I just don't feel like doing that. Uh, and it's only eight pages. Things can happen just because they happen. We're just going to have fun and just kind of go with what we think. So uh, here's how I will literally start writing a script. Uh, usually I'll have a paragraph which like explains the whole story. We don't have that right now. So this is just a short story. We're going to just roll with it. Okay. 
Uh, I know this. I want this to happen at like some music store. So uh, music store are open on <laughs> open on music store. Mad store worker. What's our uh, monsters? Two. Okay, I'm just rolling with it, right? We're just we're not thinking. We're not self editing. We're just going. This is what is required. Okay, I'm. Oh, you like, We got a window into the into the the bad before the good comes. Okay, with this video, that's the whole point. Okay. Uh. Oh, here, the dragon wagon crashes into front of store. Murfalc Murder Falcon, Jake, Johan, step out. What the heck? Like, from the store owner. I know this is silly, but this is just how I do it. Okay, so I know that this is going to be a big panel, so, you know, uh, uh, goblins everywhere. Oh my gosh. Page four. Okay, fight. Page five, fight. Page six. Uh, okay, floor. Floor of music store opens up, re revealing evil music dungeon with nineteen. 70 and 1980 Stratocasters. This is an inside joke for music people. Fender uh, was having some real quality control issues in the late 70s and 80s with their instruments. Like, really, really bad. So, that's why you can still find really cheap, like, late 70s, early uh, 80s strats for, you know, dirt cheap because they're usually crap. Um, I just think that would be funny. Again, we're getting the bat out, right? Uh, okay, Goblin Queen. Birthing. More evil goblins. We're running out of room here. There's only eight pages, but... Laying eggs in... Drum set? Because they find a drum set down there, right? Uh, kill the queen. Kill the queen. Cleaning up. Drum set. Uh, you're my best friend. Murder Falcon drinks a ton of beer. Okay. Well, I don't know if this works. Let's see. Open on music store, man. Monsters? Yeah. Okay. Goblins are here. Goblins are coming out of floor. Holy shit. Okay. Dragon wagon crashes in front of store. We're here to rescue you. Yeah. Jake, Johan, step out. What the heck? Goblins everywhere. Oh my god, there's so many of them. There's too many of them, like from Return of the Jedi. Ah, uh, might only have room for one fight? Not sure yet. Okay, well, this, we gotta start here. This is something for me to think on. I kind of like the idea of like some sort of goblin queen. Really gross. Something that would be really fun to like kill and explode and then they have to like clean up the drum set so it's like totally lame but they love their drummer so they're going to do it for her anyway and then maybe like um store owner finds his love of music once again finds there bam okay and there is the idea where's the camera up here I didn't even set up my nice camera because I'm too lazy. All right, this isn't bad, right? I'll see you next time for the script. Right? That's it, right? I don't have to say anything else.
I just did this. I mean, I might change this a little bit, and any changes that will happen, I'll make sure to update you when we start the script. But this is what we're starting with. I mean, this is what I would do. Maybe sit on this for a little bit. Um, makes sense. It's fun. I guess I'm supposed to tell you to subscribe now. But uh, I'll just see you next time for episode two, whenever that is. Okay, bye-bye.